the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, how do you get people who are uh, pseudo-traditionalists out of the church? Well, the easiest thing you can do is stop giving them money. And really, when you give someone money, you enable them. That's why I was so uh, against what Father Gordon had said about me paying my enemy. Because that's like handing China or Russia a bunch of money and saying, you know, go attack us. <laughs> and, you know, and we do that because everything's made in China. But also, uh, you know, you can empower our... Archbishop Vigano says you empower the bishops, the bad bishops, when you give them your money. Now, who can you give your money to instead? I have chosen uh, Father Gordon McRae and Mr. Moontree for his woodworking project and for him to stay out of sin and to acclimate to, uh, you know, the day in and day out life of being a craft person and uh, doing works for the Lord, which I find is a good use of money and time. You may have your own personal things you want to donate to that are pious and godly. <laughs> you, you have to pray the Holy Ghost to, uh, to help you to figure that out yourself. But uh, the biggest thing you can do is give them your money. So I would say uh, cut off the financial flow and... Uh, you know, pray for a better bishop, because it's really the bishop who is sitting around causing all this, and I think he's kind of a partier. So he's he's letting this go down. He's bringing in these elite that aren't American-born, that don't stand up, like I said, for the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Declaration of Independence. And he brings what uh, someone has explained to me is a spoiled brat priests that should have been ordained like Father Flick and Father Gordon, where they've probably been just fed a lot of money from their parents to throw them into the seminary, and they have they don't have God truly in their heart. They're basically working against the church from the inside out, and it's very, very selfish of them to do that and to put themselves in position of power. They should be working at McDonald's and sleeping on the floor. They should not be usurping Father Tara's role as a true disciple. And he's also really should be their superior because of his knowledge and experience in his age is greater than theirs and obviously there are exceptions uh, St. Paul told Timothy not to be worried about your age but if we read the elders of all time the elders really are the ones that hold the key to wisdom and that's why we call them you know the elders for a reason that's why they are gifted with the gray hair the full head of gray hair like um, Pope Benedict because that's a sign. So it's a sign in a, in a godly way. When we see God the Father, He's also enthroned with with white hair, and it's there is a reason for that. And our society has flipped that around, and we can see it going on at Saint Joan of Arc. We've seen it going on in all these other uh, facets of secular life, and it's really a time where we need to stand up as the lay people. And uh, use our God-given talents, just like Holy Love Messages says, our God-given talents and our position, the vocation God has given us, to flood us with the graces we need to move forward and what we need to do to fix the situation. Because sitting back and relax and enjoy the ride is getting us nowhere fast.